Carly, back for Division 1, that, that was a big thing about today. How, how good is it to get back there? Absolutely, it's it's vital for Armagh football that we're up in Division 1 football. So, I mean, it was just important to get the win today and then we'll just move on and look to the Championship from here on. But it's important for next season that we're up in Division 1. We feel we're a team on the up and to be playing in the first division is where we need to be. Uh, we know how good Donegal are, we know how good Cavan were, you know, and, and it, it was important that we, we got out of this division and get up into the first division. It's going to be tough up there next year with the big boys, but we're ready for it. If we could try and pick out a few things, Katie made a very important save in the first half. Amy, of course, is fabulous, and yeah. Fanula got a couple of great goals. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's the thing about this team. There's different players can step up on different days. Katie had two or three saves in the first half, and again in the second half, she was putting the pressure on. She had a great game, and I mean, obviously, Amy and Fanula in there. Like, if you can get the ball into them, they'll do the business. Uh, look at it. We were we were good. Okay, my own girl was excellent in the first half, and I thought she kept us in it in the first half. Uh, but in the second half, like, like we we had a lot of great players. I thought Sharon Reid had an absolute stormer of a game. Okay, and, and we were having a bit of problems with with uh, Yvonne in there, and Sharon went in done a good job on her. Amy, you know, look, we have so many. We've a lot of good players. Okay, but you know yourself, Jerome, to get them all playing together, and, they, and a lot of a lot of it came together. Today. Like I think we scored four eighteen or four. You know, that's that's a lot of scoring. In the league, you lost to Donegal, you lost to Cavan, you've come back and beaten both of them, and maybe re-emphasise the point that you're Ulster champions for a reason? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we had to go back to the, the drawing board whenever we played them early in the league. Um, we knew that we still had plenty of work to do, so we didn't panic too much, and obviously the management did their homework, and we, we knew what we were going to have to do here today. 2015 has brought a, a new look for Armagh, a new look for James Daly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I'm hearing that this beard isn't going to go, even though you won today. What's behind that? What this is all about is uh, I'm, I'm running a, 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 a charity night for uh, in my wife's name, my late wife's name. It's a big football match where I'm going to have all the best uh, footballers from all over Ireland. We're going to play an Irish selection against an Ulster selection in October. Okay, it's all in for Anne. Okay, and I'm just doing this and growing the hair and I'm growing the beard. Until then, okay, it's going to look a little wild and a little crazy, but hopefully we'll be able to drum up a bit of sponsorship money. It's all about raising money for, for cancer awareness, and and that's that's you know that's that's the whole focus. So please give money to get the hair off your face. Yes, please do. It's it's irritating already. Like, but we another five months to go. So, but we need we want money. We'll be getting the details out there to all the counties, and hopefully we're going to get, we're going to be calling a lot of girls around the counties to come and play for us.